Rob Word. Welcome once again to Way Back on Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about the Golden Boot Awards because everybody always says, is it ever coming back? And I'm afraid it's not, but we do have wonderful memories from 25 years of putting the Golden Boot Awards on. It all started with Pat Buttram and a tribute to Bob Steele. You know, battling Bob Steele. Well, Bob had been a big star in the late 20s in silent films and all through the 30s and 40s he was a star. He was Private Duffy on F Troop, but he had emphysema and wasn't doing well. And Pat said, let's put on a fundraiser. Let's do a tribute to Bob Steele. And so we did. And it seemed like everybody showed up. You know, it was Dick Farnsworth, Phil Harris, uh, Charlie Sterrett, just Gene Autry, uh, Dale Evans, everybody was there. And Lee Majors also loved Bob Steele. He was there, Bruce Boxleitner. It, Jock Mahoney, of course, Dickie Jones, it goes on and on and on, and it was such a success. Pat said, let's do this every month. And we said, wait a minute, Pat, we need to figure out what we're going to do. Let's create a fundraiser. Now, usually fundraisers begin with the idea that we want to raise money and combat cancer or Alzheimer's or diabetes, something like that. What we wanted to do was honor mostly the B Western stars and Western people in general. So we went to the Motion Picture Hospital where Bill Campbell was, you know, the co-star from Man Without a Star in, uh, with Kirk Douglas. Well, Bill was the head of fundraising at the hospital. So he says, yeah, come on, this is a great idea. So it grew. And initially, it was at the Sportsman's Lodge, but that could only accommodate about 500 people. We're going to go way back today, because it is way back on Wednesday, to 1998, when we were at the Century Plaza. 1,500 people showed up. You won't believe how many people were there. Now, when we first started, Pat Buttram used to have me write down the names of every Western star I saw coming in the door, and then he would announce who they were to the house. And Pat was our master of ceremonies. There is nobody better, never was, never will be. But after Pat passed away, I ended up doing the celebrity introductions and uh, we had it down pat where we did them as fast as we could, but the, the rooms were always filled. That's what we're going to show you today on WOW. And you're going to go WOW because look at all those cowboys and celebrities who were there. I did it so fast that the cameras couldn't keep up with who was at which table. So as I would introduce a name, I would uh, say the table to give the director, my good buddy Mike Demich, who won three Emmys for directing, but passed away about a year and a half ago. Breaks my heart. But you'll see a lot of other people, and it'll break your heart when you see them in this montage, this introduction, because they're gone too. We were so very lucky to have been able to put on these events, and we did it for 25 years. Now, of course, we do the Word on Westerns at the Autry kind of takes the place. Everybody's in the audience and I do the introductions there, but it was never like you're going to see it right now. So let's go way back to 1998, the Golden Boot Awards, star-studded, and I'll see you a little bit later. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a hard-writing Emmy-nominated producer whose credits include such westerns as Wyatt Earp's Return to Tombstone, Memories of Lonesome Dove with Robert Duvall, and Roy Rogers' An American Legend for A&E's biography series. Tonight's event producer and director, one of the founding fathers of these Golden Boot Awards, young Buckaroo Robbie's favorite dad, Ladies and gentlemen, a nice boot welcome for our pal, Mr. Rob Word. <laughs> thank you, and thank you, Chuck McCann, for being up there in Silver Bose. Uh, we're going to try to do some things very quickly this evening, and it's been a very big year for Westerns. Many are being made. And we've also lost many of our compadres this past year. And, and so what we're going to do before I introduce people from the audience who are 
out there who need to be recognized. I'd like to pause for just a minute and we'll take a, a few moments to look at a film that honors some of our, our heroes who are no longer with us. Uh, it's set to some music by R.W. Hampton who was so terrific up here earlier with a song called Sunset Lullaby. Could we roll those clips, please? That old sun is sinking low It's time to saddle up and go Riding westward down along the sunset trail Oh, part we've had our share of fun But now that roundup time is done I will miss you more than words could ever tell Vaya con Dios Hasta la vista Hope you find your treasure at the rainbow's end. I wish you all the very best. And as the folks say way out west, may the good Lord bless you till I train. Don't hang your head. My little bronco Cause there's rest and pasture At the river's bed I wish you all the very best As the folks say way out west May the good Lord bless you Till I train cross again May the good Lord bless you till our trails cross again. Helping with that was Mike Clark, who has uh, been spending a lot of late nights with me lately as we've been going through those clips. And we know that that brings back a lot of memories and there's always been something about Westerns that, that personifies truth and integrity and our friends that we're losing, we do have them forever on film. So uh, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm thrilled that everybody is here because we're here to support the Westerns and the Motion Picture and Television Fund. And we're gonna do something now, if we could bring the house lights up just a little bit. There are some people here uh, who I'm going to introduce. I'm not going to introduce the, the past Golden Boot honorees because you've seen them on stage, nor will I introduce any of the presenters and new honorees who are going to be coming up. So we're going to do this fairly fast if we could, so when you hear your name, jump right up, if you would, please. Like at table number one, Tom Hatton, KNX Entertainment Editor. Yes, sir. Also at that table, producer Jay Bernstein of Mike Hammer. <laughs> table number six, the producer of The Last Stand at Sabre River, one of our nominees for a special award, Michael Brandman. <laughs> the director of that film, Mr. Dick Lowry, who also directed the Gambler series that uh, Jim Burns was writing. <laughs> Betsy Newman, also from uh, TNT, responsible for so many Westerns. Uh, on TNT. I know earlier I saw Andy Finity walking over there giving her a new Western script, so uh, Andy's not going to miss a trick. Table number eight, Robert Ganji, a Western clothing man who designed all the outfits for the Carradines and a lot of other things, making everybody look very, very sharp. At table 14, Georgia Frontier, who took the former Los Angeles Rams and they deserted us to Milwaukee and she's here. Table 14, a philanthropist also. Also at that table is Mr. Donald O'Connor. Okay, nice to see you, Don. A great stuntman, Mr. Lauren James at table 15, Double C McQueen and so many things. Uh, 
very, uh, he's over here, table 10 instead. Table 16, we have Jess Barker, who was in the first Technicolor outdoor movie, The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, 1936 with Henry Fonda, Fred McMurray. Fred McLean, producer-director also for Caruth Bird Productions is over there along with Mr. Gene Weed, who does an excellent job producing and directing uh, for Dick Clark Productions the Golden Globe Awards. Really, nice work. Harry Harris is at table 20, the director of so many great films, including many gun smokes that uh, our honoree John Manley produced. Also at that table, a character actor from uh, The Long Riders, Charles Jarrett. Table number 22, a headhunter, no he's not an Indian, it's Brad Marks who also produced When the West Was Fun in 1979, one of the first shows that I was involved with out here. Nice to see you Brad, this is his first Golden Boot. Now, how many of you have been to Golden Boot Awards before? Okay, how many are coming back next year? Okay, and tell your friends about it too because we don't like to see our money go to advertising when word of mouth, as we know, works the best. So tell your friends and come back again next year. At table number 23, a man, believe it or not, who loves Westerns, his first film as a director was Buck and the Preacher, a Western, Mr. Sidney Poitier. He was also in Duel at Diablo with our friend James Garner. And his wife, Joanna Shimkus Poitier. Thank you. Mr. Marty Ransohoff, a producer of Silver Streak with Gene Wilder and uh, Richard Pryor back there in Americanization of Emily, a great film. Also at table 23, you'll be seeing him in some clips tonight, Mr. Alex Cord. You'll see him punch out Harrison Ford and uh, be doubled by Dean Smith a little bit later on. At table 24, one of our favorites, Jane Withers is here. He's got a red cowboy hat back there. And also, we, I wish we had a microphone back there, the voice of Donald Duck, Mr. Tony Anselmo. At table number 27, a man who is responsible for some great audio and Sky King and many other films and TV shows, Dean Vernon. And did you know that he was married to Gloria Winters Vernon, Penny on Sky King, who's there as well. You're gonna see her in their tribute to Clayton Moore. You'll, she'll be popping up in our tribute to Clayton Moore a little bit later on. Table 29, Ken Shearer, who's the CA, CFO, CEO of the Motion Picture and Television Fund, but as a producer, he did Crazy Horse for TNT. Jump right up. And a man who's done many westerns, Peter Mark Richmond at table 30. In the back. At table 31, Howard Keel is here tonight. Yes, sir. Kiss me, Kate. And a few years ago, we lost one of our favorite uh, Western actors who was responsible for a lot of great comedies. His wife is here, June Haver McMurray. An ace photographer and actor, producer, Mr. Roddy McDowell. We had some great work in the silent auction. I hope everybody got a chance to squeeze into that room. And uh, Mrs. Dennis James, Mickey James, is here tonight, too. At table 32, he's here every year, Mr. Bud Friedman of the Improvisation. And at that table also, actors James Blakely and Mary Carlisle Blakely. Would you please stand up? Thank you. And at table 33, Countess Yola is here this evening. She's honoring Burt Kennedy this year. And at table 37, he was our color guard. Let's have another big hand for Peter Brown, the star of Lawman and Laredo. Also at that table, if you haven't been, you're missing one of Los Angeles's best treats, the Autry Western Heritage Museum, Joanne Hale, who is responsible for making that great. 
and her lovely husband, Monty, but he'll be up here later. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll be hearing from him later. At table number 38, a producer, A.C. Lyles. And you saw, at that same table, you saw Monty Montana twirling his rope pretty darn good. Well, we've got uh, uh, Linda Montana sitting over there, too. And I, so I skipped somebody at table number 16, and it's uh, Caruth Bird. Caruth, would you stand up real quick? I see your white hat down there. Thank you. Caruth's been here since the very beginning of the Golden Boot Awards. He and I used to buy half the tables. Things are better now. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And at table 39 on the Golden Boot Award Committee, Leonard Tex Malton, who was our Master of Ceremonies last year. And the Lone Pine Film Festival, where so many great Westerns were done at table number 40, we've got Mr. Dave Holland, who's always got a bevy full of beauties at his table. But this year, he's got John Saxon from Joe Kidd and many other Westerns. And the casting director, Marvin Page, who's always squaring a beautiful Hollywood star. Right there, thank you, Marvin. At table number 40, Buck Young, who was a, one of the co-stars in the Sheriff of Cochise, a Robert Aldrich series, right there. And did you know who Buck was married to? Republic leading lady, Peggy Stewart. Let's give her a big hand while she's over there anyway. And at table number 42, co-starred with one of the guys you saw up in the reel we just showed, Frank Sinatra's Kissing Bandit, we have Katherine Grayson. And also at that table, he owns eight NBC affiliates in the West, and he always programs Westerns, Mr. Jim Rogers. Jim, would you stand up and be recognized? Whoa! Look at that outfit! You are a cowboy. At table number 44 from Bewitched, Sandra Morse. At, also at table number 46, stuntman and actor Dennis Lehane. Dennis was just in Walking Up Horton. And one of our favorites, Robert Stack, is at table 46. He was in War Paint. His wife, Rosemary, is going to be having a big art show come this fall, so he wants everybody there buying paintings. And he's got a new movie out right now, Basketball, but don't hold that against him. And uh, the daughter of Guy Madison, you'll be seeing Guy a little bit later on. Bridget Madison is here this evening, also at that table. And stuntman actor Rod Wolf, who's here every year, a good friend. Face the light, Rod. He's a stuntman. He's used to having his back to everybody, I guess. And at table 49, we've got Patrick Curtis. Thank you. Producer of Hanny Calder. He was an actor in Gone with the Wind. How old does that make him? I, I, 60, I heard that. Also, from that film, a great friend, Rand Brooks, is at table number 25. And Monty Roberts, also. Table 49, we've got Sue Ann Langdon. Sue Ann's going to be a host in uh, Laughlin a little bit later on. She starred in two Elvis films and the Rounders that Burt Kennedy directed. Table 51, producer, actress, Heather Lowe. She did The Avenging Angels for TNT. Another great Western. And she's married to the lovely Andrew Prine, who's sitting over there, too. From Chisholm. You'll see him in Kung Fu in a few minutes, too. Alan James, the producer of the Texas Mom Cheerleader Murders. It's got a longer title, Alan, nice to see you. Shorter titles, they, they work better. Table 51, Jennifer Savage from St. Elsewhere. The son of Clark Gable, who donated that fine piece with Clark that you saw earlier, John Clark Gable. He's a race car driver and he was in Bad Jim with James Brolin. From Seinfeld at that table, Mr. Richard Hurd. A couple of the greatest Westerns ever made were Will Penny and One-Eyed Jacks, produced by Walter Seltzer at table number 55. 
Those are films that you should run out and rent tomorrow. At table 56, the director of Maverick, Cheyenne, and the Roy Rogers Show, an episode that starred Rob Robert Blake, Leslie Martinson, at table number 56. It's right over here. Table 59, a stuntman who likes to dress up in dresses, Mr. Whitey Hughes. He doubles a lot of women. Right there. You didn't have to wear one tonight, though, Whitey. It's all right. He was in the Wild Bunch. Table 65, one of the great bad guys, did over 400 TV shows, Chris Alcade. He was in everything. Table 65, one of the sons of the pioneers for 24 years, a great friend, a good writer, a buckaroo, Rusty Richards. A cowboy troubadour, yes, they still have him, Hank DeCato at table 67. Another great good guy, bad guy, he's done them all. William Smith is sitting over there too. Bill Smith. Laredo, the shooter. Table number 73, you'll see him later tonight, Marty Cove. He was in Wyatt Earp. He was in a Gunsmoke clip that you're gonna see a little bit later on. Playing his irascible brother in that is Paul Coslow, who's also sitting over there. You know, sometimes you wish you had your glasses. At table number 86, we have Howard Smith. Let's see if we can find table 86. Jump right up, Howard. Give us a holler. Roy Rogers Makeup Man, right back there. You know, Roy was the greatest idol anybody could have, and we're lucky that he, uh, he made so many films that he was so accessible to his fans. At table number 89, another name that we don't have here on our list is Jan Michael Vincent. Table number 89. Also at that table, you probably saw him walk in, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, table number eight and nine. Also at table 73 back there, we've got John Mitchum, who was in uh, Dirty Harry. He was a partner of Clint. He was in Outlaw Josie Wales. He was in everything. Also at that table, you heard mentioned earlier the biography about Roy, the co-executive producer, along with me, Mr. Gary Grossman. Thank you. Gary has done so many shows. He did the one on Sherry Lewis that ran a couple of weeks ago, too. And Hopalong Cassidy's widow, William Boyd's widow, Grace Boyd Bradley is here. <laughs> Table number 74. We love those hoppy movies. And somebody that we all love, a lot of us grew up with her, is Lois Lane, Noelle Neal, at Table 90 from Superman. <laughs> could we have the house lights up just a hair more so we could uh, see these people? Paul Harper from The Wild Bunch and a lot of Peck and Paw films is at table 99. He comes every year. Table number 17, Neil Sadaka. Happy birthday, sweet 16. And also at table 17, you saw a clip earlier of uh, Whiter with Hugh O'Brien. Her dad produced it. Kate Edelman Johnson is right here. Her dad also created Kate Stand Up. Come on. Turn face the light. Let the camera see you. Her dad created the Big Valley as well and produced a lot of great Warner Brothers westerns. Michael Callan from Cat Baloo is sitting right there also. <laughs> Table number 17, he's played many bad guys, but he was Johnny Cool too, Henry Silva. He was in Burt Kennedy and Bud Bedeker's The Tall T as well with Randolph Scott, another great, great western. A good friend at table number 18. He got an Oscar nomination last year, but he's done some westerns. Robert Forrester from Jackie Brown. And you know, we can't put this on without a lot of help from the committee, the Golden Boot Awards Committee. Could all of you stand up and be recognized for just a moment? Let's give everybody a hand who puts so much blood and sweat and tears into this thing.
These guys love Westerns or they wouldn't be doing it, and you guys do too. So, how many of you out there noticed that I'm wearing the same shirt, the same jacket, the same bolo, and the same hat, but longer hair with a little bit of gray, but I can still fit into it, and I hope you had a good time with this, and those days were something special. We hope to bring you something special every Wednesday on WOW, so leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, subscribe, and share. We will see you next time. Thank you.